currently we have a little over half a million people over 65 in the country. That's expected to more than double within the next 20 years to about 1.2 million. Um, which means that any issues or problems that we currently have now are just going to increase exponentially over the next few um, years. Within that growth, what we term the older old, that would be people 85 years and over, are going to increase even more rapidly than that. Now, taking into account our current economic situation, this means that we're facing a situation where we have ever-increasing demand, but decreasing resources. Healthcare provision in Ireland is not a heavily regulated area, and uh, the maintenance of high standards of quality uh, is essential. Everybody has a member of their family either in hospital at some point or in nursing homes, and everybody wants the, the best standards of care for their relatives and family members. Uh, so the, the maintenance of high standards of quality is absolutely essential. And to demonstrate to the customers and your clients that you have uh, independently certified quality management systems is the best way of uh, convincing them that standards uh, are where they need to be. The principal issues I would see would be around um, uh, dementia, uh, cognitive impairment, that it's a, an evolving issue, bluntly because people are surviving illnesses which previously might have ended their lives a little bit earlier and they're now arriving at a point where cognitive problems are becoming the predominant feature of their lives and frequently it's exposed when they, um, because they live alone and because whereas they used to be able to self-care, manage medication, manage shopping, manage the cooking and cleaning, they're finding that harder and harder to do. And it can be upsetting mainly actually for the families around them. The patient themselves frequently lacks insight into the difficulty and now that's my area of uh, interest. Others would be more interested in stroke disease or in movement disorders like Parkinson's and things. But that's the area I see and it's the one I think needs most uh, attention because it's the one which um, uh, has the greatest propensity to expose people to the need for long-term care because there's a failure to recognise the condition early, to recognise the dementia early and then a lack of services and a lack of appropriate services to manage pa patients um, as they progress through the condition. <laughs>